Hi, I'm Kyle Connell, and today I'm going to be breaking down a play that happened in this past weekend's game between the Oakland Raiders and the Seattle Seahawks. Following the opening kickoff, this is the first play of the game. Derek Carr waits for Devontae Adams to go in motion before snapping the ball. We'll pause it here. Carr seems to have two open options, or at least about to be open, in Devontae Adams in the middle of your screen and Mac Collins, number 10, at the bottom of your screen. Carr is going to throw to his most trusted weapon and former college teammate, Devontae Adams. Quandre Diggs makes a great play on the ball, forcing the interception, but I want you to keep your eyes on the sideline as he starts to return the ball. If you look closely, Seahawks linebacker Daryl Taylor runs onto the actual field after not being involved in the play. Not only does he rejoin the play, but he actually tries to lay a block. Now, no flag was thrown here as the refs didn't see it, but the NFL rules state if a substitute enters the field of play or the end zone while the ball is still in play, it is an illegal substitution. If an illegal substitute interferes with the play, it may be a palpably unfair act, and the penalty is a loss of five yards. Fortunately for the Raiders, it wouldn't really end up mattering as they'd win an OT off this 86-yard run from Josh Jacobs to end it.